So we are going on another Chinese food adventure this evening. Yeah, baby. Yeah, be excited because tonight is going to be really special. Um, I'm, we're, I'm actually trying this dish for the first time and I'm a little embarrassed to admit it because this dish is so, so popular in China. So today we are going to be eating something called Xiao Long Xia, which is translated to little lobsters. Ooh. It's a seafood. They're basically um, what we would call crayfish. So they Ooh. literally look like little lobsters. My, my friends in China are obsessed with this dish. Um, it's all I really know about it is it's it's very messy. You eat it with your hands. It's messy, is it? It's messy. So you've worn a really great outfit. I wore a white <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Mom, what are the chances Dad comes out of here with a clean uh, shirt? Not not a good chance of a clean shirt. I'm afraid to say. I'm kind of not sure what to expect in terms of the taste. Like, is it going to be like a prawn? Is it going to be like a lobster? Or like, I don't really know what to expect. Um, but we're going to find out together. So we're having a feast. Love a feast, got a loose dress on, I'm ready. But yeah, we're just en route, a bit of traffic, Friday night traffic. Um, but yeah, sit tight. A little shed, a little bit of traffic. Sure. A little bit, it's moving, it's not too bad. Invigorating content. <laughs> I could share the road for a while. Yeah, it's a good sign. So tonight we're getting our Xiao Long Xiao from one of my Sydney favorite restaurants. We've been here before. We really loved it. It's of course Little Hunan. <laughs> so good to be back with you, Linda. Hey. I missed you. Um, Me too. <laughs> well, you guys probably remember Linda from our last video that we did here at Little Hunan. It was such good food. I'm so excited to be back. But. Today we're eating xiao long xia, yeah. and I was just telling my parents that I've never actually eaten it before. I feel a little embarrassed because, especially because I used you never to, had it before. Never. Yeah. And How I did you know that. Well, the thing is, I used to live in Shanghai and yeah. Beijing, and there are like streets dedicated to xiao long xia, rows and rows and rows of yeah. just xiao long xia restaurants, all crowded, full of people. So I just wanted to ask you, why is this dish so popular? It tastes fantastic. I love it. And I think it's a way of people socializing summer. Oh yeah. You just get um, pick xiao long xia and sit on the street and oh. eat uh, with beer. Yep. Yeah, I think every city in Hunan specializes in different kind of xiao long xia. Oh. So in my city, Yueyang, we uh, we only eat the, the tail of it because okay. that's where the meat are. Yep. Um, but in in our capital city, Changsha, people eat the whole thing. Okay. Uh, it's served with the whole thing, like what it is today. So we marinated it before with a lot of uh, different spices. So yeah. that's why it got that um, very distinctive uh, aroma. Yeah. So that's more. Um, yeah, I think that's a more typical way of serving xiaolongxia. So what's the flavor of xiaolongxia we're going to be eating today? Is it like, like what flavor is usually xiaolongxia? So this one's got shi san xiang. Okay. So is it spicy? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I find it a little spicy, so I guess it'll be spicy for you. Now I know a little bit more about xiao long xia. I think it's time to dig in, but I've never eaten it before. Is there like a, is there like a proper way to open xiao long xia? So I normally um, peel off the head, yeah, and then you just suck it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna need a replay because I, <laughs> you did that so quick. Did you get that? I got it. I got it. Oh, you got it. But okay, Daddy. I'm gonna need to roll up my sleeves. Which way do you go? Oh. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, and then, and then you suck. Mm. Was that correct? Yes. Mm. What do you think, Dad? No. Oh. <laughs> what happened? Tastes, tastes really good. <laughs> it's got some chili. <laughs> It's really good. I want to eat it more, but... <laughs> so you only eat the tail, actually, okay. but you can... But I like to suck the whole Xiao Long Xia to get the, um, yeah, to get the flavor. Where are your Xiao Long Xia from? Are they Australian Xiao Long Xia? Okay, this one we actually imported from China. Because oh. um, the Australian ones, the taste is slightly like differently. Yeah. This one tastes more authentic. So here we are, my first ever Xiao Long Xia. So, I take off the head, and then I suck, I suck that, right? Mm -hmm. Just this little tiny bit there. I don't 
how you guys would describe it, but it's like it's like a, a like a mix of prawn and lobster maybe or it's kind of a little bit like blue swimmer crab that you used to catch as a kid. It's a like really delicate meat. And plus between that and a prawn, it's really, really tasty, very delicate. And I've got to say the sauce for this is so nice because it's such a delicate meat and yet it's, yeah. it's just enhances the flavour. It's just so delicious. Oh yeah. it's so good. Love it. It's really good. Messy. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> really good. How's the shirt? The Let's shirt? do a check. The shirt is good. Wow. I really like the, uh, the... Yeah. I think I tried to ask my chefs cook a meat dish that has the same flavour. Yeah. So it's easier to eat but have the same flavour. But yeah. you can't. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I got it all the way out. Oh, you got it all out? All the way out. Oh, ready? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so flavorful. Super spicy. I really like it. Do you eat the claws? Yeah, I like to eat the big ones. Okay. Yeah, and the meat is really tender inside. Oh, so there is meat inside the claws? Yes. Yeah, yeah. These ones are too small. Yeah. So it's not worth it. <laughs> I can definitely confirm that. I spent a long time trying to get meat out of this teeny tiny claw before I asked Linda that question. Oh wow. And then out came the baijiu. Baijiu is the famous Chinese alcohol, and if you've been to China, you have probably tried it. It's super, super strong. It's usually around 40 to 50% alcohol content. So you shot the whole thing? Shot. Shot. Although I'm driving, so when you have this. Hi, hi, hi. I'm driving! I'm driving! <laughs> and eat xiao long xia. And talking of skills, it's very appropriate that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes over a wide range of topics. If there's a skill that you've been wanting to learn, odds are it's on Skillshare. So recently, I've really been wanting to take my photography skills to the next level because I might be back in China early next year and you bet I want to be taking some awesome photographs when I'm there. So I've actually started a new Skillshare course just the other day called Fundamentals of DSLR Photography and it's taking me through step by step of how to actually use my camera and to use all of those functions that I never use. I usually just use the automatic button. So if you're interested in trying out Skillshare for yourself for a limited time only, the first thousand people to click the link in my description are gonna get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. And even after your trial is over, annual membership is less than $10 a month. So it's a pretty great deal, guys. Go check it out and have fun. Not only were we treated to a Xiao Long Star feast, we also have some other dishes that we've never tried before from Hunan on the table tonight. Oh my good lord. This is interesting. What, what is this? What is that? French chili with century egg. Have you tried century egg? Century never tried century, century egg. I've heard of them. Okay. I've never tried one. Is it? A century old, or well, they've been making this way for a century. I can confirm it is not a century old. Is this the one that they put in horse? Uh, you know? It's called urine, John. I you can use a big boy word, it's urine. urine. I've got a lot of sujo. <laughs> So to help me explain what a century egg actually is, I'm bringing in the expert, Steph from the YouTube channel Chinese Cooking Demystified. Steph's knowledge of food is absolutely mind-blowing and is definitely the person to ask about any questions regarding Chinese food. We caught up about a year and a half ago in Shenzhen and visited the local wet market together. When we came across century egg, she actually helped me bust some of the myths surrounding it. Uh, so century egg is like egg that's like wrapped in alkaline stuff. Okay. I think, yeah, sometimes kind of alkaline stuff and then wrap it for a while. Okay. It changes the texture of the egg white and the egg. 
Um, what's the kind of egg that I heard they soak in horse urine? I think that's like... Oh, is it? Okay. I've, I've avoided those century eggs for years because I thought I'm like, it's been soaked in horse urine. I think they just saying that because it has a pungent taste. Oh, okay. It kind of like reminds people because it kind of got a little bit of ammonia. Okay. I think that's like where people get an idea from like, oh, this is soaked in horse urine. Okay, so urban, urban legend, right? Yes, yeah, so it's like soaked in alkaline mixture. Not good. It's safe. <laughs> Great. So you, you smash, yeah. you smash it actually into the century egg, so um, it gets the flavour blended in together. Oh. Yeah, and it's a cold dish. And is this a famous dish in Hunan? It's one of the most famous ones. It's absolutely delicious. I've been served century egg in the past. It's usually like people like, let's see if the foreigner can eat century egg or not. Um, and it's usually served with no flavor. So this is actually the first time I've had the century egg like in an actual dish. Oh wow. This is so, so delicious. I love everything about this dish. There is no way I would have ordered a century egg, but that, I would eat that again. That's so good. This has so many flavors going around your mouth. Yeah. It, it swirls around the front of your mouth, then the middle of your mouth, and then whack bang in the back of your throat as you get the chili. So refreshing. Mm. We put a little bit of eggplant in it as well. Yeah. So uh, when it's served, you can smash it on the table. Oh, wow. uh, traditionally in Kuna, we serve the whole chili. Mm -hmm. That's the reason you... That gives more um, reason to, to, to smash it because yeah. you smash the chili blend with the um, uh, central egg and the eggplant, so the flavor mixes together. I'm kind of having the same like breakthrough moment with century egg like I did with stinky tofu. For years I've been avoiding it. For years I haven't liked it. Not a fan of century egg. But as soon as you put it with some flavor and those chilies and that, oh my gosh, ah, amazing. Actually, probably one of the highlights of my meal tonight. But. What have, what have your highlights been tonight? I think trying new things always, like the century egg, I've got just there. And the fact that a few months ago, I would, somebody would have said century egg, oh, and it's nice. It? And the bajo, everything new is, there are so many new things. If we just stay with our regular things, we miss out. Yeah. One of these days, when we go and visit you in China. Can you please take me to Hunan province so I can try this? I'm, I want the challenge. I want to see how spicy they can make this stuff. Because yeah. I'm up for it. This is so delicious. Uh, I think like Hunan has been one of the foods I've eaten less in the past, but it's quickly becoming one of my favorite cuisines of China. Loving the spice. I love that sourness that you get with Hunan food. And it's been really nice learning about it these past few weeks, actually. Great to come back and see your pretty face. We came, we saw, we conquered, we tried our Xiaolongxia, we did it. I'm a big fan. Would you guys eat Xiaolongxia again? Oh yeah, it was so good. Thank you so much, Linda, for having my family and I again. We'll be back. Um, and yeah, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys.